One mile south of Newport, South Beach State Park is a jewel in the rough across the Oregon outdoors. A spacious campground with nearly 280 sites, perfect for tents or trailers. We provide interpretive programs every day of the week. Ranger Danny Padilla says South Beach is often coined a destination vacation for the varied activities that are easy to find, like a guided paddle trip on nearby Beaver Creek. Paddling on Beaver Creek is one of the most peaceful and one of the closest times that you can get in tune with nature. We don't have any tidal influence on Beaver Creek, so you're not worried about the tides, you're not worried about waves, but you get all of the migratory birds, you get eagles and ospreys. More than three million visitors flock to the 24-mile stretch between South Newport and Yahats each year. And yet, the search for peace, quiet, and solitude takes very little effort. You got to look a little bit more, maybe get a little bit further from the cities. The Brian Booth State Park, that includes Beaver Creek and Ona Beach. Great hiking trails where you can be on top of a mountain. You can actually see the ocean, but you don't hear any road noise and very few people. This is a rack line. We have two rack lines. They're spelled with a W, W, R, A, C, K. And as you can see, we have a few specimens of agates and shells along here along with all of our vegetation. Park Ranger Christopher Maitland says agate collecting pays off with gorgeous stones. You can find precious stones all, all through here. Yeah. You are limited to a gallon per day, and that is to keep it from going to commercial use, and so this is mainly for private collections for yourself, to have a memory of your visit on the coast. Maitland is a big fan of the park's interpretive program called Beach Booty 101. No surprise, he's the teacher. This is a really good representation of what we have here on the Central Coast. Not just agates or jaspers, but fossils that date millions of years old. Specimens where the history is written in the rocks. The creatures are frozen in time. They were living having a happy day on the beach just like you and I do. And then all of a sudden a traumatic explosion came to where silt and ash covered them up. And at that time pressure and heat will fossilize these matters. You're allowed to search and select agates or fossils from Oregon beaches, but no digging's allowed. This is what you come over to the coast for, to find a treasure. And as long as we can offer these treasures in a personal way and not in a commercial way, that's a wonderful thing where we'll keep that going. It's an asset to our state parks to be able to offer these things. Near South Beach State Park with photographer Jeff Kastner. Get out and take a walk. Grant McComey, KGW. Yeah, that's super cool. For more details, check out the Grant's Getaways page at KGW.com. You can also catch his 30-minute show this weekend at 4 o'clock.